Hi guys, this is Jordan with Motion Array, and today I'm going to show you a special technique to help you loop videos in Premiere Pro. The way someone would normally loop a video is just copy and paste it and then fade. But what we're going to do offers more versatility, and on top of that, it's really easy. So let's get started. Once you've brought your clip into your timeline, the first step is to cut it in half. Now, take the back half and move it up one layer, and then bring it to the front. Then, move the first half back, overlapping it slightly. This might seem odd at first, but take a look at what happens if we go from the last frame to the first frame. It seamlessly transitions from the back to the front. A quick side note, the way to enable your playback to loop based on your in and out points is by going to the button editor, located here, finding the symbol with a triangle over a rectangle, and then dragging it down to your button bar. Now click to enable looping playback. So we've effectively changed the starting point of our video and allowed for our video to loop seamlessly from the end to the beginning. But in the middle, we still have this weird spot where the video jumps. To make this less noticeable, we're going to take the top layer of your clip and fade it out by using keyframes. To do this, hold Control or Command and then click on this line. This controls your keyframing, and it should be set to opacity by default. But if not, simply right click your clip and go all the way down to Show Clip Keyframes, and then select Opacity. Once you've made a keyframe marker by holding Command or Control and clicking, bring down one of your keyframes to fade out your first video into your second. And there you go! You can adjust the length of this transition by moving your keyframes, and you can also adjust where this transition takes place by moving your video. Both of these can help make the transition more subtle. For our example, I'm just going to try to match it so that the waves are roughly in the same plane when the transition happens. There we go! Now here's the magic of this technique. We have two different options for looping. If we copy and paste this new video set, it'll automatically loop seamlessly without having to make any other adjustments. This can save you so much time. But on top of that, if we just export our original edit as it was, this video will loop seamlessly if you use it in a program with that purpose. You can view this video seamlessly looping at QuickTime, for example. But the possibilities of where you could use a video file like this are endless. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.